from an investing point of view, the fundamentals of the U.S. economy are still awfully good. Uh, consumers have strong balance sheets and they have jobs and you know American consumers do what American consumers do they spend money and as long as they have money they're going to spend it and as long as they spend it it's going to drive our economy and we're going to continue to have positive GDP growth uh, and we're going to continue to have a pretty pretty strong economy that's why those who we look at the idea of a possible recession we think it's shallow and short uh, and and mild uh, not large uh, because the robustness of the American consumer is there. Anybody who wants a job has it. Uh, anybody who has savings, uh, and a lot of people have more savings than they've ever had, uh, now have the ability to continue to consume and do what they're doing. When we look at the possibility of a recession, we do think that you might have what one would call a technical recession, uh, a mild recession uh, in the back half of the year. Uh, I mean, at this point, we, you, you wouldn't even be able to mathematically say you've got one until fourth quarter. Uh, and so when you reach that moment, uh, I think it's one of those kind of recessions. It's like this. We've been driving at 90 miles an hour. We slow down to 50. Well, it feels like you're going really, really slow, but you're still moving 10 times faster than you can walk. And so what it'll, it'll feel like a little bit of a recession, but it's a recession from a very torrid pace.